there wonderful viewers welcome back to my youtube channel i'm dr gomati today i have got an exciting topic that's all about successful system implementation specifically focusing on microsoft dynamics 365 business central if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming content now before we dive into the nitty gritty details i want let you know in one little secret in this video i'll be giving you a high level overview of implementation checklist and explaining the purpose stage and importance of each step but here is the exciting part for our dedicated members i'll be creating a separate in depth videos for each stage where i'll break down the complete checklist provide a real world example and share the template for the checklist with you with some expert tip and tricks so if you are as passionate about system implementation as i am consider joining so you too consider joining our membership program for exclusive access to those deep dive videos the link to join is right there in the description if you want to know you can see that in my profile that is in my youtube uh, channel if you go there you can see a join option you can join it here and once you join you can access the already uploaded member specific videos that is functional consultant 15 important interview questions and today i'll be uploading the scenario based interview questions for functional consultant and this is for business process in sales orders and this is for customer data management which is specifically for technical consultant implementing the complete set of mini business central mini project which is a data management project okay all right without <coughs> further ado let's jump into core content of today's video so i'll be explaining uh, about the checklist for various stages okay and stages i'll be explaining every stages and <coughs> finally we will conclude okay so as i told functional consultant will uh, face various stages will go through various stages while they are into the project or they are with the clients so what are the various stages the functional consultant will be facing and in each stage okay uh, there that, that will be a specific purpose and there is an importance of every stage so i'll be explaining all these things so this is the very first stage which is requirement gathering next one will be the configuration testing user training data migration integration security documentation go live readiness and post implementation support <clears throat> okay so sometimes there will be uh, again you have to repeat from any other step for example requirement gathering which is a very first and initial phase of any any project any functional consultant sometimes you have to again uh, come back to the configuration stage or a testing stage again okay it completely depends on the project which you are in which you are working so all these stages need a specific checklist okay which is what i told i'll be deep diving into every stages in a member only video where i'll now highlight what are the <clears throat> what are the stages what is the importance of this stage and the detailed explanation for this so let us first see the requirement gathering which is the initial planning stage okay so the importance is that this stage forms the bedrock of a successful system implementation it's all about understanding the client's unique business needs and processes setting the direction for the entire project without a clear grasp of these requirements the system could miss the mark and fail to deliver the expected value so at this stage we engage in deep conversation with the client carefully listening to their goals challenges and aspirations everything we meticulously gather insights into their business processes workflow and pain points this thorough understanding allow us to tailor the upcoming stages to align perfectly with their operations by documenting these requirements comprehensively we create a road map that guides us towards creating a system that not only meets but exceeds their expectation so this is very very important stage okay there is a complete checklist for this stage okay i'll be uploading those complete checklist i'll be sharing the checklist template as well in my member only video <clears throat> so the next stage is what the configuration stage this is the system setup stage 
what is the importance of this is what the proper configuration okay is the bridge between a system capabilities and the client needs without accurate config configuration the system might fall short of delivering its true potential in this stage we take the gathered requirements so the first stage is what requirement gathering we take the complete gathered requirements and turn them into reality it's like fitting puzzle pieces together we adjust settings customize the interface and optimize workflows to mirror the client's operation the accuracy of configuration is pivotal it ensures that the system's functionalities align perfectly with the client's vision the meticulous alignment minimizes friction and maximizes the system's effectiveness in achieving the client's business goals next comes the testing phase this is what the third phase which is a pre implementation stage the importance uh is like think of testing as a dress rehearsal before the grand performance it's about identifying and addressing potential hiccups before they impact the show so rigorous testing is crucial to identify any discrepancies inconsistencies or flaws in the system's design or functionality we simulate real world scenarios from routine operations to edge cases and monitor how the system responds This allows us to catch and rectify any issues before they affect daily operations. By validating the system's functionality through comprehensive testing, we significantly reduce the risk of disruptions and ensure a smoother transition to the new system. Even for this testing, we have a complete checklist. Okay, as a template. <coughs> Next one is the user training, which is the fourth uh, stage, which is a pre-implementation stage. the importance is a system is only as effective as the user who interact with it proper training ensures that user can leverage the system's capabilities to the fullest extent enhancing productivity and minimizing user related challenges so in this stage we shift our focus to the end users who will be interacting with the system on a daily basis adequate training is a crucial to ensure that users feel confident and proficient in utilizing the system's feature we design training programs tailored to the user's role and responsibility covering everything from basic operations to advanced functionalities this investment in user training pays in div uh, dividends by empowering individual to harness the system's power efficiently <coughs> so the next stage is what data migration stage this is also a pre implementation stage so data is a life blood of any organization successful data migration ensures that historical information is seamlessly transferred to the new system preventing data loss or inaccuracies during this stage we meticulously ensure that valuable data from the legacy system finds a new home in microsoft dynamics 365 business center data migration involves extracting transforming and loading data into the new system while maintaining its integrity this meticulous process guarantees a seamless transition where crucial information is readily available in the new environment by validating the accuracy of data migration we safeguard the organization's historical knowledge and facility and also the facilitates informed decision making so next comes the data integration so this is a system checkup stage in a modern business landscape systems rarely operate in isolation proper integration ensures that different system communicate harmoniously enhancing efficiency and data consistency we live in an interconnected world and business systems are no exceptions in this stage we ensure that microsoft dynamics 365 business central smoothly integrates with other system used by the organizations whether it's a sync synchronizing with account software crm platform or other tools we check and confirm that the integrations are properly set up and functioning as intended this seamless connectivity enables data to flow seamlessly reducing duplication of efforts and enhancing overall operational efficiency next comes the security which the stage is the system setup stage security is a paramount in today's digital landscape 
implementing robust security measures protects sensitive data and maintains control over user access the security of the system and the data it holds is a top priority in this stage we review assesses and implement a range of security measures to safeguard against unauthorized access data breaches and other threats we establish user authentication protocols access controls and encryption mechanism ensuring that the system complies with industry standards and best practices by securing the system we instill confidence in users clients and stakeholders creating a solid foundation for business operation next comes the documentation which is there throughout the implementation okay so the importance is in the dynamic world of technology comprehensive documentation access guidebook for uh, future troubleshoots maintenance and updates documentation is like the compass that guides us through uncharted territories throughout the implementation process we diligently maintain detailed records of system configuration customizations and any unique settings this documentation becomes a valuable resource for further references allowing for efficient troubleshooting smooth system updates and informed decision making by meticulously documenting every step we ensure that systems evol evolution remains well documented and transparent next comes the go live readiness this is pre go live stage so just like a pilot performs pre file pre flight checks ensuring go live readiness prevents unexpected turbulence during the launch of the new system before the curtain rises on the new system we meticulously review all aspects to ensure a seamless transition this involves a comprehensive assessment of configuration integration data migration and user training we double check all the components are in place fine tuning any last minute details to guarantee a success system launch by verifying go live readiness we minimize the chance of disruptions instilling confidence among users and stakeholders as the new system takes center stage finally comes the post implementation support which is post go live stage just as a ship requires maintenance to sail smooth smoothly setting up post implementation support ensures that the new system continues to navigate challenges effectively the journey doesn't end at go live in fact it's just the beginning in this stage we establish processes for ongoing support and maintenance this includes providing a reliable point of contact for addressing user queries resolving issues and ensuring the system remains up to date by offering continuous support we enable users to maximize the system's potential adapt to changes and capitalize on opportunities post implementation support ensures that the new system remains a valuable asset continuously delivering value to the organization so these are the various important phases that every functional consultants will go through and each these each of these phases has a unique checklist which every functional consultant should have and there you have it folks a comprehensive overview of the microsoft dynamics 365 business central implementation remember if you want to delve even deeper into each stage learn from a practical example have a template of for each stage consider joining my membership program thank you so much for tuning in today if you found this video useful and helpful give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow enthusiast if you have any questions or thoughts please leave them in the comment section i love hearing from you stay curious stay eager and stay eager to learn and i'll catch you in the next video until then take care and keep exploring an exciting world of system implementation